Hi everyone, it's a um, cloudy but very hot day in Manchester um, and time for a look around the plot and see what we've been up to. So first stop is the um, tobacco plants. Remember I said they were called Golden Virginia. Um, they're huge, they're taller than me and they now have this lovely flower on which I presume is um, just like the nicotina, the version of the nicotina flower that you can get. <clears throat> I'm um, five foot ten, so here's about six foot. And there's some even taller. The um, leaves, as I've said to you before, are massive. Some of them are um, going a bit yellowy now. Um, we've got about half a dozen leaves drying out, and the plan is that he's going to test them and uh, see if they're smokable and then make a decision about the rest of the plants. So I hope after I've uh, given a, a whole bed to it that uh, he can make something out of them this year. This is my butter beans. Um, they're growing really well. I was doing some uh, investigating about whether I should stop the tops and there seems to be um, a different in opinion in, in what to do. Um, some people say once they finish they'll, they'll just stop or once they can't find anywhere else to climb they'll stop so I think I'm just going to leave them to do their own thing which is uh, my usual style for, for most things in life um, but you can see there are quite a few pods as I say they're butter beans so I expect them to get quite big lovely flowers happy to be pollinated by plenty of things. The bed is just overrun, completely overrun. I've underestimated how much space all these things will need. Um, it's just really difficult to, to see. I've been having some of these small sun squashes and just roasting them or um, grilling them in a salad. So there's some um, Two, two plants of summer squash and then I've got a butternut and a giant squash over there and um, you can see all lovely nasturtiums everywhere I'm going to pickle some of the seeds I did that last year and they were really nice but the bees are happily um, eating those I've put some more crops in here um, can't remember what I've put in turnips they look like they've been eaten actually and a couple of cauliflowers there and then um, there's some spinach and radish and stuff over in that bed. Um, these are field beans. Let me just see if I can scramble my way through. These are called field beans. They're like a broad bean, but uh, they're very tall. Eat like a broad bean as well. But a little bit later than a broad bean, I think. Um, courgette in there, growing well. I'm picking those when they're really young, which is good. Oh, and can you see my gladioli? First one I've ever grown. Please with that. This one's doing really well. Um, got some of these black tomatoes. They're not, um, oh, not quite ripe yet. But certainly not far. I can see they're a bit green at the bottom. I'll be trying those soon. And uh, I've got at least one aubergine. It's not far off eating actually, that. Um, I've had loads of cucumbers. A few more in here. Um, I think I'm going to have to stop my melon because it's growing and growing and growing and um, I think you're supposed to leave it until it's only got four melons on it. So sweet potatoes are growing. Bunkers. Another one here. Um, green pepper. Loads on there too. And then um, back out to the finished article that is the, uh, the fruit cage. So we made a flower border here at the front and I've filled that with anything I could do. Beg, borrow and steal. There's a grape here. Some cosmos and stuff actually got some um, cheap dailies they were selling off at the garden centre as well, which are very pretty. So, send you a good angle for this. 
So that's the fruit cage. Um, you'll remember it was from um, First Tunnels um, and I won a competition on Facebook which gave me 250 quid and this tunnel was 280 and they, um, they let me off the difference. And I'll put a link to, to their website. So it's, it's huge. It's um, a three bay by two bay. Each bay is 1.9 metres. Um, and you have um, some sort of stretchy mesh that you put on the top and then some solid stuff on the sides, which I'm probably not explaining very well. So this, um, this is sort of like a plastic, plastic wire and um, Velcro opening to get in. Not sure how useful that actually is, but... And then uh, if I can just reach the top show you the top is um, more flexible. So you remember it was a um, quite a dip down at this top side here so a lot's had to be dug down there. Um, the council had left, um, the, as you remember there's a graveyard just the other side of the, the uh, hedge there and um, the council had left piles and piles of um, bark chippings so went round with a trailer and, and filled it up so that's down on the floor. I've put my raspberries in. These have been in um, plastic pots for 18 months or so because um, I was given them and um, just didn't have the place until now to put them in so they're glad to have a home. I've got some black currants to go in as well which I think will go in this bed here. I filled up this one with um, the soil out of my potatoes so I'm likely to get a, a volunteer potatoes in there next year. Um, the strawberry planters, I don't know about the Aldi near you, but um, my one, if you don't go on the morning when there's a special buy, um, by the afternoon the plants are dead, they just don't look after them. Um, and this particular week when the strawberries were on, I couldn't get there first thing and I did want some, so I went down on the, the day after and they were selling them for a pound, so I've got four for what would have been the price of one and they've already got you know they've got plenty of strawberries on them and I think they'll be all right hanging up in here um so yeah um long bed at the back that's my fig tree that's never actually uh, had a fig on it and I don't think it has either it's a brown turkey um yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. Even more pleased that I didn't have to uh, pay for anything. Apart from, of course, uh, the time and skills of uh, my friends and family to help me put it together. The last little area we've got to uh, work on on this, this plot is here. And my plan is to have a little covered area um, so that I can be outdoors in the, if it, you know, if it's raining but still warm. Um, sort of like a carport type thing so that I can do potting and stuff outside. Um, the bench was a was something I got cheap on eBay. Um, had one of the pieces missing and uh, we just managed to, to fix it together with some wood that we had here. So I'm going to paint that tomorrow. <clears throat> um, otherwise, I think this side of the, uh, the plot's finished. Everything's looking lovely. Um, I really love having these flowers and if I am lucky enough to get the next door plot, which um, I believe we'll find out for absolutely sure this week. She's been given, I understand, um, until the end of next week <coughs> to come and get her stuff and she's not been. So I'm hoping that when um, the chairman does his, uh, his tour this week we'll, we'll finally, well, we'll get a bill for this other half of the plot. Um, so then, that's why it's more, more important for us to finish off the current side, because there's plenty of work here to do. Um, I've been drawing up some, some draft plans of, um, of how we'll have it, but I don't want to speak too soon in case something goes wrong. But, uh, safe to say, um, that will be the project for the winter. To, Put all this down and um, and then we can have a good growing year next year. So that's 
so um, that's where we are. Thank you as ever for watching, um, all your comments and subscribing. Um, I really enjoy reading, um, reading all your messages and um, taking on board your advice. So thank you. Have a good week. Bye.